Hi, I'm Pastor Taylor Stempniak, the pastor here at Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and you're watching The Peak. This past Sunday was Holy Trinity Sunday. It's the Sunday where we celebrate the doctrine of the Holy Trinity, which is God's existence as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A good way to think of this is God is like water. Water can exist as a liquid, a solid when it's ice, or a vapor whenever it's steam. But in all three of those existences, it's still water. In the same way, God exists as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but in each of those persons, God is still God. One God, three persons. That's the Trinity. But this Sunday, I really wanted to focus less on how we understand the Trinity and more on what the Trinity does in our lives and what that means for us. So we often hear the Trinity referred to as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but another way to refer to the Trinity is Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier. So you have the Father that acts as Creator, God the Creator who created heaven and earth, who formed each of us in His own image, so that when we look in the mirror or we see our neighbors smile, we have a reminder of what God's love for us looks like. Having God the Creator reminds us that we have a God who was intentional about how He cared for us. In the formation of the earth, we have trees that breathe out oxygen and breathe in carbon monoxide so that something so beautiful that offers us shade also offers us the air that we breathe. God the Creator is intentional about showing us His love in not only our reflections, but the reflections of creation around us. We also have God the Redeemer. This is Jesus Christ. And Christ comes to us as God the Redeemer so that we can be reminded that God is not a distant God that's far away from us. God didn't create us and then just leave us to our own devices so that we could, you know, be mean to one another and sin or anything like that. God the Redeemer comes and offers us belonging. God the Redeemer comes and brings in the outsider and gives them a place at the table, heals those that are suffering so that they would suffer no more, and gives a promise to those of us now who may still be suffering or who may still feel like outsiders that we have a place in His kingdom where we are made free of suffering in His peace, grace, and love. And God the Redeemer shows us how deep that love is with His sacrifice upon the cross, where we see God willing to lay down His own life for us because He views us as family and He views us as friends. God the Redeemer reminds us of the intimacy and the sacrificial love that God has for us. And then we have the Holy Spirit, God the Sanctifier. And sanctify is this big word that we really don't use that often anymore, but it means to make something holy, to take something ordinary like me and make it holy. And that's what the Holy Spirit does for us. We were baptized, a lot of us as little children, but some of us as adults, or some of us are just thinking about baptism now. And in that gift, we are adopted into the family of God. But like little children, no matter how old we are, we are continuing to grow. And that means we will make mistakes along the way. But what the Holy Spirit does is comes in and whenever the mistakes seem to be really obvious and we're worried that God couldn't possibly forgive us for this, the Holy Spirit God the Sanctifier reminds us that God has made us holy, and sin, death, and the devil cannot undo what God has done. The Holy Spirit helps us like a coach or a good teacher to think differently about the world that we live in, to look at our neighbor and see not just a stranger or not just our physical neighbor, but to see a child of God. See somebody that is deserving of knowing God's love the same way we do. And so we seek to act that out. We seek to be the hands and feet of Christ so that everyone that we meet would see the love of God the Creator, would see the love of God the Redeemer, and feel the love of God the Sanctifier. 
And we rejoice because when we need to see that love too, it is the Holy Spirit that places people and places in our lives where we feel welcomed, loved, and accepted. Places like our church, places like our family, places like that close knit of friends or that ball team that we have that has surrounded us with communities of support and love. And the Holy Spirit makes them holy because that is the promise of the Lord. The promise of the Lord, the doctrine of the Holy Trinity, is a reminder to us that God is interested in our lives. God has sought to rescue our lives through his sacrifice. And God has not left us alone, but continues to dwell alongside us so that we may know that he is always present, always listening, and always loving. Let us pray. God the Creator, God the Redeemer, and God the Sanctifier, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise you for the ways that you have appeared to us in our lives. We praise you for the ways that you have made yourself known. We know that your presence and your reality is still a mystery to us that we may not fully understand, but you are generous, and you have given us things that we can understand, like your love your grace, and your mercy. Help us to cling to the promises that you have given to us and to share those promises that all that we meet. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for The Peak this week. We hope to see you again next week.